Hello everyone, it's Alex. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another Top Picks and Top Skips of the Week. I hope you guys had a wonderful week as always. I hope you had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend too. I'm kind of off because of the one day that the kids had off on Monday and Mr. Man was home. I'm kind of off of my game. I don't know what day it is. I forgot that today was even the day I was supposed to film this. So I'm kind of glad I caught on real quick. I just want to let you guys know, thank you guys so much for all the love and support you guys have shown me when uh, I check my hair off. Uh, I wanted to wear it straight so you guys can see the difference of it being straight versus when I curl it. I tend to curl it more in the summer just because it's so hot and bothered that I try not to blow dry it as much just because it's not going to stay like this. It's going to end up curling anyway because of the humidity and stuff in our area. But I did want to share with you guys what it looks like when I do uh, straighten it out. So this is what it looks like straightened out. So you guys can really see the cut and stuff. So a few of you had asked me if I could do a tutorial on how I curl my hair in short. If that's something you guys want me to do, let me know. I've never really done anything like that because I don't think that's something that most people are interested in, in my channel. There's so many hair tutorial channels out there that do such a great job. So I'm not a hair person. I just know what I like as far as haircuts, and then that's what I go with. So that's been my week. I still, some people have not seen me with my short hair, so I'm still getting that reaction when I show up to places, and I forget that I cut my hair, and then everyone's like, oh my gosh, and I'm like, what, what, what do I got on my face? And they're like, your hair. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. I cut my hair. So it's still that shock moment that I haven't gotten over with a few people so it's gonna take about a month for me to do this other than that this week has been really easy it's been beautiful weather super hot today is super hot that's why I'm filming early in the morning because it's gonna get super hot in here um little miss our little lady's uh school had her school olympics this week Mr. Man showed up to that we always volunteer as a parent every year we, at least we try to uh, this is his second year going I've always gone so I let him go because you know, he's always busy that he doesn't really get to show up to a lot of the school functions, so I let him do it. But um, <clears throat> other than that, we've just been chilling, relaxing, enjoying. Uh, I finally watched the Avengers movies, you guys. I'm not going to spoil it for everyone, but oh my gosh. Let's just say that I'm happy I wore false lashes because they caught my tears and they did not run down my face. They kind of used, <laughs> my false lashes used it as an umbrella and they just soaked there and all I did was like brush off the wetness and it was fine. No mascara running, amazing. <laughs> I do want to watch it again, you guys. Now I have to watch Captain Marvel. Mr. Man and I are on a mission to watch Captain Marvel now, just to kind of get into the game. And the funny thing is, is that we watched Infinity War a month before Endgame came out to the movie theater, so we were kind of fresh into it, so we knew we didn't, we didn't wait that long. We're not movie people as far as going to the movies, because with kids, this was our first time going in almost five years, you guys. The last time we went to the movie theater was November of 2014. So we finally showed up to the movie theater. Thank you to my sister who helped that happen. We ended up going out to dinner. It was so nice, you guys. Seriously, it was such a nice time. It sucks that him and I only get to do that maybe once every six to eight months, if that, because it's just difficult with anyone wanting to pitch in and help. So <clears throat> whenever we get that opportunity, we take full advantage of it. But we had fun. Oh, my gosh. I love the Avengers I love the, the Marvel series. I just, that's one thing that I do like is that. I'm not into Star Wars, never watched those, not into like Harry Potter too much. I've watched those, but eh, this is what I like. I just like it. I don't know. I like the intertwining of movies and things that make you think. I like movies that make you think. So anyway, that's it for what has been going on this week. You guys, there's not much for top picks and skips, which is a good thing because June is going to be tough. Uh, June is my birthday month, and um, I do have quite a few things that are coming out the first few days of June that I will be purchasing for my birthday. These are all things that I will be purchasing for my birthday uh, gift to myself, because normally I do that anyway. Um, other than that, I don't know what else I'm going to buy, if I'm going to buy too much anyway, because I'm trying to pace myself. So anyway, we're going to get right into topics and skips, because the few things that we do have, I do want to share with you. It's 10.30 in the morning, and look at my water bottle. It's like... All right, so let's get started. The first thing I want to share with you guys is this I found odd. I don't know. I'm not going to judge it before it comes out. Too Faced is launching a new skincare products that will be launching everywhere in June. It includes Too Faced's website, Macy's, Nordstrom, Sephora, and Ulta. They're launching a hangover good in bed hydro hydraulic Oh my gosh, can I even speak? Hyaluronic Plumping Serum. It's supercharged with dragon fruit and vitamin B5 that will make you glow in and out of bed. And then they're going to have an SPF Replenishing Moisturizer. 
um, and then I guess it's going to add to their hangover RX type of line. I know a few individuals that do like the hangover primer, so maybe this might be something for you guys. I don't know if I trust Too Faced, honestly, with skincare products because they're so cutesy and, you know, I don't know. They're very young and adolescent type of packaging and stuff that I don't know if I would trust them with my face. There's there's brands that dedicate their time and energy to skincare that I would trust them more over this, honestly. Sneak peek, Love Lux Beauty is coming out with another palette and this looks like it has blues and greens and silver, maybe a dark olive -y color, I don't know. This looks like fun. The swatches look amazing. I thought that their last pa uh, palette was really pretty. This one might be something more I would like because I do, I am into greens and blues a lot more. So I just want to let you guys know, I don't know what it looks like. I don't know anything as of yet, but maybe by the time that this video goes up, you'll see something. It Cosmetics has launched their new Your Skin But Better Primer Plus, you guys, your new oil-free gripping face pore refiner and hydrating primer. It's clinically proven to minimize the looks of pores and improves the appearance of makeup throughout the day. It is now available exclusively at Sephora for $39. As you guys know, I have only, with the exception of one um, primer, that is all deluxe sample size. That's all I have. I have yet to dedicate myself to one primer and this looks like it's up my alley. I don't need anything pore minimizing, honestly, but if it's gripping, if it's meant for those that have oily skin, I am really, really interested because I do love It Cosmetics. I do feel like their products are good and they always infuse them with skincare. So I trust them in that sense. So this might be the primer I might invest in completely. Who knows? I never talk about nail polish, but this caught my attention. This is Essie's new limited edition Glaze Days collection. Very pretty shades. Uh, they came out with one, two, three, four, five, six shades in here. I, I like these. Now, I've never personally tried the Essie formula, but I know a lot don't like it because it's more watery, is what my understanding is. So I'm not sure, but it's, it's candy glaze finish that's an innovative formula with translucent pigment creates a glazed look and delicious high shine. So I don't think it's meant to be full opacity. I think it's supposed to be ones where your own nail beds will shine through. I don't know, but the colors look pretty. I personally probably won't be getting it. I have way too much nail polish. I think the last time I purchased nail polishes, I think I'm going on three years that I have not purchased a new nail polish. I don't need any more. I have all these colors already in different formulas, but I wanted to share it with you guys just in case this caught your attention or you are looking for a color like this. Beauty Blender is now, they just released a new color. This is called Joy. It's a limited edition sunny yellow shade. I like the color. Um... I don't know if I'd be one to, like, I know there's people that collect these. I still have yet to buy a beauty blender, to be honest with you guys. So I just wanted to let you guys know if you are a collector beauty blender, you got a yellow one. I know that I did like the teal one. I think they came out maybe with the green one, the pink, the red. Um, I don't know if they came out with an orange one yet, but this is pretty. I'm not going to buy it, but I wanted to let you guys know because it's there. So by the time this video goes up, you guys will see these. These are the new Huda Beauty Obsessions palette. These are the new Neon Obsessions. These come out May 30th, so it'll probably already be up by the time this video goes up. They will be available on Huda Beauty's website, Sephora, Cult Beauty, Namies, and other retailers, and in stores June 7th. Okay, so here's my thoughts on these. Looking at these swatches, I do like the Neon Greens Obsessions. Shocker, Neon Greens Obsessions. The neon pink is okay. Um, both of these are called neon greens. I guess they made a mistake. And one's called neon oranges, maybe. Yeah, I like the neon oranges. The neon greens are very subdued. I don't know about that one. And the neon pinks. I think I only like the orange and the pink ones. The green one is the one that I'm like, eh, about. Will I get these? Well, these came out at the perfect time for my birthday, and these tend to be under thirty dollars. So if anybody ever catches me and says, well, what do you want for your birthday? I feel comfortable asking for these because these are not breaking the bank and I would be interested in those two two palettes. Me personally, if I am going to get these, I want to get them before the summer ends because these are more summer palettes and I would like to use them in the summer. But I don't know if I'm going to invest my budget into it in June. I think there's other things that I want to invest my budget in June that I'd rather try over these. These, I don't know if these are going to be permanent or not, but it looks like they may be. 29 yeah, they're $29 a piece. So I'm going to hold off on these, but I wanted to share it with you guys because I am interested, but 
I'm going to hold off. Sephora has now launched new Sephora Pro face palettes. I personally like their eyeshadow palettes. They're $68 a piece, but they're amazing quality. I still have yet to get the two that I wanted from their newest launch, but they came out with new face ones. These are three versions, light, medium, and dark. They're $58 a piece. You get 75 grams of product. This is for that person that wants it all in one. You want you get your highlighter, blush, bronzer, contour, I think it's a good idea for those that are either makeup artists or you self tan throughout the year so you're constantly changing your tone of your skin and you need to you know go along with that but for the everyday person I always tell you guys that I'm not a fan of this all-in-one thing especially when they have different contours and bronzers because not everything's gonna work for you and some are not gonna get used <clears throat> for me I'm not gonna get this but I think it's a it's nice I can if it's the same quality as their eyeshadows I can pr I'm pretty sure this is going to be great quality and if you're looking for something inexpensive um that isn't going to break the bank this might be something cuz you can probably get it when there's a sale or use your points towards it if you redeem them something like that so I just wanted to share it with you guys as usual there is no top back picks and skips without mentioning ColourPop they came out with another one this is called blue moon you guys the only one I have is pink I still haven't gotten the purple the green the watermelon and now the blue so I'm missing four of these this is twelve dollars these are all blue shades very beautiful you guys know that I love these I want them all I haven't gotten them all this is something I'm considering for my birthday month. Maybe I'll finally jump in and finally place a ColourPop order and get all four of these um, that I've wanted <clears throat> with a few other things that I am interested for ColourPop. I told you guys that I'll probably do a birthday wish list, so I'll let you guys know what I'm interested in. But yes, I'm interested in this one. It's all blues. You guys know I like blues. I like all the colors, so with the exception of gray, but I can make gray work. Marc Jacobs has jumped on the Pride Wagon. They have released new enamored with pride dazzling gloss lip lacquers. They're $28. They're super sparkling high shy lip gloss in coveted shades with lasting brilliance. They are dressed in special limited edition packaging during Pride 2019. So they came out with one, two, three, four, five, six shades, 10% of the retail price of each limited edition enamored. Dazzling gloss sold between June 6th and July 10th will be donated to Sage an organization dedicated to providing advocacy services and support to older members of the LGBT community. So I, I like the fact that a lot of brands are coming out with these um, Pride Month products and a lot of them are donating to charities um, that are providing services and help to the LGBT community, which I appreciate. I, I've always wanted to try the lip gloss, but I find it to be too expensive for lip gloss, honestly. It's what? <clears throat> come on, come on, come on. $20? Ugh. It's too much money for me for a lip gloss, honestly. All right, last but not least, this is the reveal of the new Melt Cosmetics Impulsive Palette launching at Sephora June 6th. Wow, you guys. <clears throat> um, why does this remind me of Urban Decay? I'll, honestly, this reminds me of Urban Decay. It looks like it's trios. You get a cool tone side and a warm tone side. And the warm tone side has more bright shades. Cool tone side is more subdued and neutral with the pops of blues. I have to see swatches of this. This is relatively new. This this just got released like maybe 30 minutes before I sat down to film this. So I don't know what's the whole point behind this, what it's about. I don't know the packaging or anything. But I wanted to share with you guys. I'm pretty sure by the time this, my video goes up, you've already seen different uh, swatches of this what the whole point of this one is but I wanted to share with you guys because it did come out right before I sat down to film all right you guys so that is it for my top picks and skips that cold that I got during Mother's Day I still have that lingering crap in my throat and I keep coughing it's driving me crazy it's driving Mr. Man crazy because it keeps waking me up in the middle of the night because I'm coughing up my lungs literally <laughs> but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed top picks and skips I will list everything down in the description box thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for all the love and support as well that you guys have shown me I also wanted to mention I forgot to tell you guys this in the beginning I did a poll on my community tab to see if you guys wanted me to bring back Spanish videos. 52% of you guys said yes. It was very, very close. So what I'm going to do is <clears throat> probably going to film two videos a month in Spanish. They will be designated and put and uploaded only on Saturdays because that's the one day I do not upload uh, at all. So I figured let me just upload it on Saturdays. So we're probably going to call it like 
Sábados en Español, something like that. I don't know. I will figure it out. But I wanted to ask you guys, those that do want to watch them or are interested in those types of videos, leave down in the comment section what you guys want to see. Do you guys just want me to do tutorials, reviews, uh, fun videos, sharing things? I don't know. You guys let me know. Get ready with me and just chit chat about my life in Spanish. I don't know. You guys tell me what you guys want me to do. And that way, I kind of have an idea of what you guys want to see. So that way, I can go ahead and get started on those videos for you guys. So that is it, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy it. We are finally going to be in the month of June. Yes, June is going to be super busy for me. So I'll let you guys know in an update soon what is going to be happening in June. So anyway, thank you guys again for all of your love and support. As always, I will catch you guys on Sunday evening with a new video. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.